Hello, and in the last episode, we ended up coming across some cancer remission patients in the bottom of a morgue that led into the sewer. Um, when we tried to be awesome like that one girl we ended up coming across, I forgot what her name was. It was like Molly Ringwald or something like that. Anyway, um, we're going to introduce them to our group and most likely get in trouble. Clementine? Clem? Hey. Oh, cool. Molly? Yeah, oh, it was Molly. Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? He's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I right hear yeah. Thank you for letting me use it. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Aw, oh, shit. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? Oh, I guess we did the right thing. <laughs> I did not think us. about that. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Thank you. God, you're a lifesaver. I think it would be very valuable if we ended up having him on our team. But we gotta make it seem appealing for him. Maybe it's a little fallout Lee, group will... Uh... You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. Alright, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. That was my cat I'm if you sure heard you her. She was yawning. things of your own to attend to. Yeah, 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 you're right. If we have that whiskey, we could give it to him. Like, I, I swear to God, that whiskey would Clementine. be good for a sanitizer. Clementine? Hmm. Open study... Open bathroom. We'll go to the bedroom. Clementine, you here? Hello? Oh, Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. Just let her do it. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? <sighs> don't give Motley a lot of... Look at the boxes. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Why do you have it as an option? Clementine? Yeah, she she's no sign of her in here. I I I get it. You want to find Clementine? There's think. Oh, okay. Let's talk to Clem. Let's talk to Molly. Molly's ass. Molly. I told you that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Let's open the door. So, apparently, she, with the sound of the urgency of this, uh, Delta Attic door. No, she's not up there. I don't know. Let's look up her. Clementine, you up there? I'm a string, you dingle dork. Shit. Where could she be? Look through the hallway window. Don't see her out there. Well... Why is he worrying so much? Clem? Clementine? Is that where we ended up leaving Omid? Clementine, this you in here? This is a kick-ass house. Where is she? Clementine's drawing. 
Clem's drawings. But where is she? Uh, it was a picture of me burying that boy. Or digging up the dog. Well, I was frowning. I'm frowning a lot. Clementine? She apparently was in here. What do you got? Clem, you in here? This music just putting me on a ton of tension. Yes, I know, Kagome. You can hear her going, moo. Bedroom door. Uh, what the? Does everyone having okay sex in there? in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. Oh my god, it's a three-way. God. Oh, that was that was a little embarrassing. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? On the table back there. Found it. First good thing that's happened since... And you let him drink? What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? Yeah, you got a point there. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Ben, are you trying to get us pissed off? <sighs> you know what? Mm. Clementine, where are you? Ben, where's Clementine? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. The hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. It's I told okay. Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I need to have a level head. I think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Ugh, fucking Ben. He better have something. Clementine? Hey, bedside manner. I was Clementine! Blind. Look at the fence. Hmm. Look at the grave. Oh, I didn't finish that up yet. Look at the die house. It does nothing. Look at the fence. What the hell? Hello. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Is there a walker in there? We're gonna be fucked. Clementine. I'm relieved now. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. What'd you find? I was afraid we were going to clock Clementine. The door. <laughs> it was going to be... Boat. Yes. Clementine. How come we didn't look in there before? Whoa. Whoa. I know, right? 
I didn't want to say anything bad around Clementine. Guess what, Kenny? This is yours now. Oh, Captain, my Captain. I'm being a little too poetic there. <sighs> ah, crap. Doc doesn't look too happy. How is... Old Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Actually, she could become quite valuable with that uh, parkour skill that she's got. You want the good news or the bad news? The bad news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Uh. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. Mm. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. That's... Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. No. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. Yeah. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We sneak in. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath the crawl yeah. the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Do we? Yeah, actually. We do. Oh yeah, the train. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided then. We're going to Crawford. Have anyone else killed? have a problem with this plan? Because we're going to need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Yeah, it is. Just got to push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Ben, you've been a giant douche. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got age, and I he's... I to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, it's... It'll be very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's, be dangerous. it's almost but word it's for the word. the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? 
I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Oh, fuck. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? It's dangerous for children. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. <sighs> Can't I come with you? I can't believe I'm saying this. Yes. Yes, you can come. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm going to go get ready. I it, It's it's going to be a sneak mission. What are we supposed to do otherwise? This may be the most stupidest idea that I ever had. I, I, I'm honestly going to regret that. In this short life that we have, we're going to need every single person pulling their weight. Sort of like how they do in Crawford. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!